I didn't even realize what was happening. You never do. I can't let Cream Puff date my sister. Why? You dated me, and I'm practically Jay's sister. Exactly. Everything I did to you, he could do to Brittany. All the I'm banging your cousin jokes, he could now say I'm banging your sister. I doubt the virgin mother Jay is going to be banging your sister. It would be his perfect revenge on me. I doubt Jay still wants revenge on you. Of course he does. I've seen his shifty eyes. Why are you even here, Spencer? Because I was venting my fears to you. Why do I care? Because you are my only friend here. We're not friends, though. Jay is here for you, Madison. Spencer was just leaving. Hello, Spencer. See? Shifty eyes. Time to go back to the gutter. Where are you even taking her? The French restaurant on 5th. On 5th, huh? What are you doing? Nothing. Well, if you're done being creepy, how about you get out? No one wants you here. Fine. Hey girl, hey! Hey guys. We're going uptown to check out some thrift stores. Yay, other people's filth. Jay isn't as excited. Why wouldn't I want someone else's rags? Well, me and Ace have plans. Yeah, we do. Well, I guess we have to go without you. Oh look, it's my boys. Your boys? Yeah, my gang. Of course you have a gang. A skate gang. Sup? What up guys? This is my girl, Madison. Hi, boys. This is Cal, my main man. Hey. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet... Um... Nice... Damn. This is Ichabod, but we call him Ice Popper Ice. Greetings and salutations. Hello. Hi, um... Damn. I can't help but feel like no one even notices I'm here. These are Troy and Jasper. Meeting you is like the sunlight in the windowsill of my life. Damn. Hey, girl. Double damn. If I left, how long would it take for someone to notice? And this is Bob. <laughs> they call me Bob because I uh, bob back and forth. Nope, we call him Bob because his name is Robert. Kinda damn. His name's Bob? Pretty much like every father in our group of friends? Hot damn. Seriously, we have Robert, Robbie, Rob, Bob. Bobby. Even Bobbert. Boys! Uh, what are you boys out doing today? Did anyone notice that every dad ever is pretty much named Robert? We are supposed to chill with Ace? Ace? I thought we had plans. Um, guys, I've got plans with my girl tonight. I'm bringing up some pretty valid points and no one's even noticing. Gotcha, gotcha. So, what are we supposed to do then? I don't know, figure it out. Do you mind if I tag along? There you go, perfect team up. Come on, Ace. Yay! Another day where no one is going to pay attention to me. Much like my last birthday. Jay, you're still here? I thought you went home. Nope, I've been here the whole time. Wow, you were really quiet. Nope, not at all. Oh no, there's a line. Don't worry, I made reservations. Coming out swinging with the brownie points. Always be prepared. Aw, were you a Boy Scout? Nope, just a bit neurotic. From what I hear, it's going to be just a second. Hey, boss. Hey, what are you guys doing? Date night. But this place is a madhouse. No one is getting a table. Winter's your table already. How did you get a table already? I made reservations. Jay, you ready? Yeah. I told you. Well, good luck with the table. Jay, uh, wait up. Jay, wait up. So I guess you're touching me now. Dude, you got to let me have your table. What? No, I'm on a date. Bro, come on. This is the night for me and Cameron. What night? This is the night we finally do it, man. I know that's something she's been looking forward to. Why? I'll never understand. Yeah, I got to make it romantic. This is my first date with Brittany. Dude, I really need tonight to go well. It's been over three months since I've gotten any ass. Gross. 
I need tonight to go well also, because I'm a virgin. Really? Yep, which is strange, because I'm so much prettier than you. Well... Wasn't an opinion. It's a fact. So I've bagged more girls than you? That's awesome. I just have higher standards than you do. You know, they have to be breathing and not goats. Well, you don't know what you're missing, so it doesn't matter how your night goes. Dinner is back on. Jay said we could share their table. Oh my gosh, Jay. Thank you so much. Ugh, they were all so hot. Are you talking to me or just thinking out loud? They all just look so scrumptious. Was that an answer? I bet he's funny. Probably likes puns. Like, the guy calls himself Punny. I bet he's got money. Probably steals money out of his grandma's purse and lives off ramen. He's gotta be smart. Fails every test, even misspells his name, which is hard. His name's Bob. How hard is it to spell Bob? He spells it B-B-O. I bet he really knows how to love a woman. He's probably gay, harboring feelings for someone in the gang. He's got the slick style. He's literally wearing off-brand sweatpants. At least splurge my Nike. Just do it! Hot damn! Hot damn! Are you dying? Abs, abs. Are you having a seizure? I tell you, the thing I'm gonna do to these boys, it's gonna be real hot. Gross. I'm gonna go show them my skills on a board. You have skills? Hey, sexy. Can I ride? <sighs> As if. I'm not gonna let some chick use my board. Blatant sexism. Just what this day was missing. Why? You scared I'm gonna be better than you? There is no way you're better than me. Oh, so firm. Let me show you. Bob, give her your board. Why me? Because you're Bob. Have a seat and watch Mama work. Yay! I'm now surrounded by people. The unbearable loneliness doesn't feel so bad now. Wow! She is so good! I bet she's also funny. Cannot find her way around a knock-knock joke. She's like a breath of fresh air. She's a woman of culture. She must come from old money. I think her grandma gave her $10 for her last birthday. I bet she's smart. Yet she doesn't apply herself. She really knows how to treat a man, I can tell. Who knows? She might be gay and harboring feelings for someone in the group. I hope it's me. Damn! Just damn! Those aren't even designer shoes. They're Walmart. Brand. Damn! Wait, you didn't set me up for that one. You are so amazing! Never has a beauty like yours shone so bright. That was sick. Wicked! You were pretty good. And just like that, I am their leader. What's everyone getting? I'm thinking chicken tenders, but they don't have any listed. Do you think they have any, but just don't put it on the menu? What about you, Derek? Um... Um... 
Um, um. Hey, eyes up here. Um. Jay, say something. Like to the waiter? Do you think they'd make me some chicken tenders? Tell him to stop staring. Derek, stop staring. Sorry, but they are just there, and it's not like Cameron shows any skin. It's true. Sir, I told you, you can't just stand here. You have to order something. I told you, get lost. Sir! Sure, you're cute and probably have a nice personality, but I'm busy. Sir, you have to order something. If you want to leave your number, I'll call you later. Sir, do you want to place an order? I'm ordering you to go away. Either you place an order or I am going to have to call security. Just leave your number. I might be free for a quickie in the bathroom after I'm done with what I'm doing. You are disgusting. That's it. You, get over here. Okay. Send a drink over to that guy. The one who looks like a brawny man reject. The one who's faking lumberjack sexual? Yep, the one with gay face. Oh, him. Send him a drink and tell him it's from that hot girl at the bar. Why? Stop with all the questions. What do you want to send? Another question, really? Actually, no, that is a good question. What would he drink? Something girly? I only drink whiskey. Somebody's got daddy issues. Hey! Actually, that is accurate. I will definitely be calling you when this is done. He went off to prison when I was- I don't care. Just send him a strawberry daiquiri. Okay. The lovely woman at the bar sent you this drink. You must be mistaken. No, it's for you. Who is she? This drink isn't for me. Yes, it is. Is she trying to kill me? I'm allergic to strawberries. I was told to bring it to the lumberjack guy with the gay face. Why would you send me a drink with so many insults attached? That's just mean. Some people are just evil. Bullies are everywhere. He wouldn't take it. Well, great. He said he was allergic. What were you thinking giving him that? I wanted you to break them up, not kill him. I was just doing what you told me. Yet you still failed. I bet your father is proud. But... I am not going to call you after this. But... Wait, I'll meet you after this is done. I'll just put a bag over your face. Now send that drink over to the hot chick at the bar. See if she wants to meet up with us after this is done. You pig! Spencer. What are you up to? She said she was in. Damn, woman, you are smothering me. Kayla, what do you want to do next? I could read to you from my poetry book. We could listen to BOTDF, or Black Veil Brides, or Jeffree Star. It's up to you, girl. It's so hot out here. Cal's got the right idea. I can take my shirt off, too. So can I. Huh? See? Kayla! Kayla! Over here! There you are. I needed you. Sorry. There was a smoking hot homeless guy out front. Great body. Homeless face, though. Wait, how did you know what his body looked like? He says he's gonna call me. I'm sure the homeless man you just hooked up with is gonna run home to his cardboard box and call you on his imaginary phone. We didn't hook up. We just made out a little. Without our shirts. You are a classy girl, my friend. Very classy. So, where's Spencer? He's right over there. He keeps sending drinks over. And having the waiter come over and say, there's a call for me from the free clinic. My results are in. Oh, wow. Are you okay? Kayla, I've never been to a free clinic. I'm not, well, Spencer, or your new homeless boyfriend. Do you think he's boyfriend material? Yes. I see you having a big future with the hobo who lives behind the second-rate French restaurant. But if it doesn't work out with him, I'll take you over to the train tracks and we'll find you a nice drifter. Wait, second-rate restaurant? I thought this place was supposed to be good. I did too, but they didn't even have chicken tenders on the menu. I had to request it. Oh, the horror. 
Don't even get me started. I had to get into it with the waitress. The chicken tenders are only for the kids' menu. Needless to say, I talked to the manager, and that waitress no longer has a job. And Spencer is the one ruining your date? Hey, Brittany thought it was charming. I'm sure she's going to love that you left the table to talk to a stunning raven-haired beauty like myself. You head back. I'll play offense. Derek was just telling us a hilarious story about his mail route. Derek? Hilarious? Did somebody open the wine already? So, there's this big house with all these gnomes. Well, today, the gnome lady posted a sign saying, Gnomes, stay off the grass. <laughs> That's not even the funny part. Well, good. It wasn't all that funny. She spelled it wrong. G gnomes. There is no G in gnomes. There is a G in gnomes. Um, no, there is not. There is, though. <laughs> no, uh. No, seriously, there is. Um, no, there isn't. Okay, Derek, whatever you say. They forgot my ranch. So, how long have you been a mailman? Oh, so we are still engaging with him. Um, well, I am the postmaster, actually. That's interesting. Not really. Do you have a lot of people underneath you? Brittany, are you still taking photos, or...? Jay, I'm trying to have a conversation. Oh, sorry. I thought we were on a date. Derek? Tender? Sure. Love me some chicken tendies. I wish we had sweet and sour sauce, though. I stopped him. <sighs> and that's the perfect ending. Hey, boys. I'm done. Hey, Ace. Um... Why is everyone shirtless? Something gay going on here? We're kind of busy now. Shut up, Bob. No, we're really busy with Kayla. With <laughs> what? Anyway, why are your shirts off? There's a new Don in town. This is now my skate gang. I don't care what kind of circle jerk you were trying to run while I was gone, but it's over now. Come on, boys. I don't think so. Nah, man. Let's split. Did they just dump me? Are you... No, I am not okay. Sorry for tackling your brother into your soup. Sorry for ruining your date. You didn't ruin the date. Yeah, it was him. I... No, it was you. What? Me? What did I do? You and your stupid chicken tenders. I just like chicken tenders. We are at a restaurant, not a Chuck E. Cheese. What's wrong with Chuck E. Cheese? Who orders off the kids menu on a date? Grow up. I just want to go home. Okay, I'll take you home. No, you've done enough. Derek, would you drive me home? Yeah, sure. Derek. I gotta head home anyway. Mom doesn't know how to set the VCR recorder, and reruns of Heart to Heart are on tonight. You can find a ride, right? I guess. Okay, well, fun night. Bye. Can we say drama? Look at that. I don't have to do anything to ruin your date. You did it with your inability to act like a grown-up. <laughs> oh, guess you're not going to bang my sister after all. Now, I have two average ladies to meet in the restroom. I'm just saying, you two have horrible taste. Well, tonight went... Horribly. Man, these are good tenders. I know, right? They should really put it on the menu. Yeah, bro. That's some good chicken. Don't listen to her. Only sluts dress like that on the first date. Believe me, I know. 
That's how Madison dresses on her first dates, and a lot of people think she's a cheap slut. Sorry Derek left with my date. Sorry Derek left with your date too. He'll be back to pick me up, I'm sure. No, he won't. Can I get a ride home? Yeah, I drove down here, but I let the homeless guy borrow my car to drive to the store to buy some low-cost condoms. I have my doubts that he's coming back, so can I get a ride home too? I don't drive. I guess we walk. <laughs>